Ooh, interesting. How do I get to you? I mean, I think I can just take this, right? Ah, ah, I live to my death. I live to my death. Okay, never mind. Got him on a technicality. Please? Please? Matt's gonna go be productive. I love it, Matt. I just jump to here? Okay, I can do that. I swear to God, I've been over here already. I wonder if I leapt from the other part. <laughs> Try doing it again? I'd have died if I did it again. I have no more healing gourds. Truly. I have a good idea, Ryan. <laughs> Try doing it once more. <laughs> oh, I'm not great with the grappling. Truly not great with the grappling. All right, all right. Thanks for being here, Matt, by the way. Good luck being productive. We made it into the temple. Let's go. We get a spirit emblem right there. Great. We have 16 again. I wanna be 16 spirit emblems again. All right, so let's figure out what the hell is happening with this music. This Shemizen music. <gasps> oh no. Brace yourself, now it gets difficult. Can I have a Buddha statue, please? I mean, he won't respawn, so I guess I can get here again later. That isn't Shemizen music. This isn't. Rehearsal time only three weeks from opening night. Let's go, cat. Good luck and see y'all. See you, cat. Thanks for being here. How many tries do you think it'll take him to beat this boss? The ape's most almost depleted his spirit emblems. She kind of thick though, right? She's playing like a flute. She kind of thick though with the tentacle, whatever they are. I don't know what's happening here, but I can't wait. Shemizen looks like a guitar. It's like a lute. All right. Oh, you're like a little squid person. No? Easiest boss in the game? Chap? Oh my god, first off, this is very pretty. Second off, Kingsley is dreaming in his sleep right now. He's whining. I think he's chasing squirrels. He's going. Mm, 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 mm. Kingsley, are you sleeping? Hi. Yeah, hi. You are dreaming. Oh, that was so cute. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he just picked his head up like, where am I? What the hell is happening here? You know who this this person reminds me of? Okay. I know who this person reminds me of. Who's the villain in Monster Inc? Monsters Inc? Monsters Inc. Villain. This lady reminds me of uh of this guy. Uh, of, of Randall, of Randall, that's right. Actually reminds me of Randall. Charby says I have Stardew Valley open and strawberry Pop-Tart bites and I'm no longer babysitting. A little bit like that kind of movement, you know? Sushi's redeemed to give the dogs a treat. Oh my God, Sushi, I would be so happy to. Kingsley, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Come here. Yeah, that's from Sushi. Say thank you, Sushi. Good boy. This is now two streams in a row where Randall from Monsters, Inc. has been in court, uh, discussed. I think Jab brought up that the Salamanders look like Randall, which I also agree with. But I don't know. Something about the movement, maybe. All right. So let's figure out what the fuck is happening here. The mist is now gone. There's a light over there. There's a light here, too.
It's just those lights. Ah, oh, what is happening with this boss? What is going on with her? Yeah, I don't know, Arena. What is happening? I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. Everything is now gone. I wonder what goes back this way now. We were fighting what I called spirits, but what might have just been... Uh, God, it's much easier to see now. Hallucinations or mirages or... Now it just looks like a semi-creepy forest. Let's go up here. The one place we didn't go is this blue thing to the left of it. Along this little tree route. Did you beat Monkey? We beat Monkey. Try reading the item description of Snapseed. I can do that. Always forget that the building is dilapidated now. Snapseed gets rid of mirages or something, right? Oh, right there. We just had it. Let's see what it said. Uh, they make a loud noise if you snap them. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. If an illusion occurs, it is because someone created it. To crush the phantoms and return to reality, one must defeat the creator of the illusion. Snap seeds can be of great help in that regard. So she was the creator of the illusion. Is she that easy for everyone? Unless this is an illusion, which is possible, I guess, but I don't think that's the case. This feels pretty fucking real, but then again, that's what people say about illusions. You know? That boss is just easy. The hell? I mean, they give you the sneak angle, so you def- oh shit, you definitely have that. My safe space is being invaded. Samantha, I hate that feeling. That is my personal least fa favorite feeling in the entire world. It would be wasteful to throw a snap seed right now, right? You have 10 snap seeds? I haven't used a single goddamn one after I used that one on Lady Butterfly. <laughs> it would be very wasteful to throw it, right? She's that easy. Most of the challenge is finding your way through the forest. 100%. I mean, and I guess that is sort of par partially her boss fight, I guess, right? Like, her boss fight is... But honestly, my trust level in this game is now, like, basically zero. So as soon as we were done with the illusion, I was like... Honestly, I feel as if I'm about to be... More more spirits, it looks like. Um, eh, God damn, block something, Ryan. I feel as if I'm going to be... It won't lock on the camera. Uh, I feel as if I'm being tricked and it's time for me to get attacked now. There we go. Oh my god, I fell. It's fun. I almost fell again. I did fall. Holy shit, I have no health. Please, dear Christ. Do you have... Oh my god, there's a thing right there. Run! We're running straight for this idol. This That boss is where chat plays up the boss difficulty to mess with the streamer. And you guys did, and I'm proud of you. Sit at the idol, please, dear god. Please rest. We made it. Mibu village. Okay. Village. That's hilarious. I'm trying to be the good sport. I also have to go to the store later. That's a lot of peopling. That's a ton of peopling. Samantha, have I ever told you the story of how... Uh, I've told some people in chat. Somebody's down there. We definitely still have those people up there. Uh, I once... <laughs> I hate the feeling of people coming into your safe space, especially your home. Um... Let's go ahead and buy an offering. Let's see. Including. Um, reduces terror status. Hmm. Hmm. Dragon Spring Saki. Treasure Carp Scale. I might buy that. I hate the feeling so much, uh, Samantha. I once had a neighbor who on a Saturday morning, because we had failed to 
rake our own leaves. He came over with his mower. It was the first first fall we were in our home. He came over with his mower and bagged them with his mower. Like, like you know, it had an attachment where you could just empty it into bags. And I was sitting on the couch in my in my basically in my underwear. Uh, and he's like mowing, and he comes over and immediately starts doing it. And he's like right through our glass window. He's sitting there on his mower in our yard. It's a nice thing to do, right? It's a very kind thing to do. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. But I'm sitting there in my underwear. I've never felt like my personal space invaded in such a way. I was like, what the hell? That's kind, but like, don't come into our yard. Not to be that guy, but like, it's it's kind of you. And yeah, we're new, new homeowners. So like, we didn't get things cleaned up, but like, come on. Piss on the floor to assert dominance. I love that. Chat, do you guys think boundaries? Yeah. And I hadn't I hadn't talked to him about it, but I did have to afterwards be like, yo, next time, just let me know you're coming over, you know? And I'll come out and help you. Or like, you know, let me know. Ugh. Chat, uh, helpful front seating here. Is it worth buying the modeled purple gourd? I mean, I guess we know where to go get it if we want to. Do we have any bosses that will cause lots of... <gasps> we know there are bosses that will cause lots of terror. Oh, shit. The boss in the depths. Yep. We know for sure. Out of curiosity, how much do the balloons sell for? I've not been using a single balloon. Uh, the sugar sells for 20 each. Do I need to add a death, Trippy? Did I miss a death? If you need money, balloons generate money. That's what they do for sure. Um, Some of them do different ones though, right? This has more items. This one is wealth. I was thinking I could sell like one of these. This one is emblems. Ah, so that is money basically. And soul is more resurrective power. Selling items is mostly not worth it. Spending 10 to 15 minutes on farming is the best way to get emblems and money. All right, cool. We're just going to use more than I think. Ah, uh, we could do that. Makes sense. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll use some balloons. Uh, next time we're in a farming area, uh, I'm going to use balloons. So let's open... I need 1,800. Let's open a bulging. Bulging. Um, Which gives me thousand and then i need to open three one heavy two light i think you're at a farming area right now all right cool i'll pop one when i leave arena says uh we've wait wait i missed a comment where was it I've moved at least every two years for the last 11 years. I don't know what it's like to have a designated safe space. Chamo says we've had points in our complex where we weren't properly notified of a fire sprinkler inspection. Maintenance people just knocked on the door asking to be let in at 10 a.m. We're in our PJs. Yeah, it's not good. I moved every year for around 10 years and it was exhausting. Chamos, between uh, college and grad school and two years afterwards. Bulging. Bulging, by the way. I moved... Uh, I forgot that I could do two of those at once. I moved... Uh, Something like eight times in six years. I, oi, 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 oi. Thanks for the five bits there, uh, Trippy. I appreciate you. Um, modeled purple gourd, great. All right, and then I guess we will do a, uh, I think, can you only have one balloon popped at a time? We should do the, the wealth one for now. We have 19 of them in storage. My safe sex is supposed to be my room, but that's always being violated. Strawberry? What an autocorrect. Dude, purple ninja guy. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, oi, oi. My posture. There it is. Give me money, you bitch. There's some money. All right, cool. I moved every three years for the last 12. Yeah. 
college, grad school after. Chamos, it's so bad. Also, we are getting poisoned. I just realized that. Shit. We should do a antidote powder. Alright, there we go. Cool. So, we might have had some farming to do up there. I honestly don't know. Let's try it. Yep. Oh my god, it's a wolf. Wolves don't give money, though. Shit. We're farming, chat. We're farming. They do give health, though, which is great. More wolves. Oi, oi, oi. Anything good up here? Anything good? Items. Litecoin purse, okay. There was something else up there, but I think this is probably good. Everyone needs a room of one's own. It's true jab. What an incredible essay, by the way, too. If y'all have never read it, uh, A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. Uh, one of the, like, life-changing texts for me, you know? All right, so all we had there was wolves. Let's go up this way. See what we got over here. Just the, just the thing. Cool. All right. I think there's a... I don't know who I'm killing here, but... kind of feels bad. This is a village of people, and I'm just slaughtering them. Okay? I'm making a lot of money, though. But I am just slaughtering them. Feels weird. Feels sort of very bad. Somebody else here. Seems like a nice village. Yeah, I'm starting to... I think they might be reappearing as well. I keep accidentally spamming the button. Fuck me sideways. Do they just keep appearing? Why does everything keep appearing here? Are we in like a timeless area? These are rhetorical questions. Mibu village. Okay, they stopped reappearing, which is actually good. This building's falling apart. Lump of fat wax. We could uh, farm some more if we have more kills to... That looks like a farming situation. They're running up. Ryan, your ethical equation is not taking into account the fact that they have red dots on them and are therefore bad guys. Yeah. They have, they have red dots. They must be meant to be killed, obviously. That is my ethical equation. Is leadership of the thieves has a similar issue? In Skyrim? What do you mean? What do you mean? Red is evil. I'd, I'm simple man. Serotonin in my brain go burr? Well, serotonin does not go burr, frankly. Uh, the dopamine go burr. And therefore... Hey, that's a perilous attack. This is this is this feels bad. This feels terrible. I'm not gonna stop doing it, but I do have to say that it feels terrible. Oh, she got a big board. We're just gonna get it over with as quickly as possible. Hi, Addy. How's it going? We're just going to get this over with truly as quickly as possible. I swear to God, each of these people is coming back to life at least one extra time. They are. You fucker. Weird. Moving like this, uh, Arena says, would have been a lot more difficult without digital connection and communities like this. That's a cool thing to set. They're definitely coming back. Plank Boy has... He's, he's come back. I keep thinking maybe I'm missing enemies. Boy, first off. That actually kind of hurt. I mean... Do I get money each time you die?
I'm currently rich. I'm the good guy? I Yeah, obviously I'm the good guy here, Addy. Obviously. All of those guys looked like they might have done something dangerous if you hadn't massacred them. Is that true? Mostly it feels like they would just continue living their very peaceful fishing lives. Is mostly what I'm feeling. <laughs> but maybe. You enable me however you need to enable me. Basket, 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 basket. I am a basket? Case? Oh my god, he is inside of a basket. Greet him. Hey. He said. <laughs> what is happening here? Are you an honorable honorable person? That's a goddamn good question that is heavy on my mind right now. You are an honorable person. Am I? Not lately. Sobs? Is there something you want to ask? Addy says, I started Undertale. My twisted gamer brain decided I needed to farm before the boss. He'll answer the questions, but only with this basket on his head? Ask about the villagers. What's wrong with them? What's happening here? No idea? All I know is they fear fire. I too was in the same days. I felt the fear as well. An unquenchable fire. Even now the thought of it gives me chills. The hunter Inuhiko started burning pine resin and locked himself in his house. This pine resin burns a long time. It's a real nuisance. Inuhiko is the village outcast. He likes eating wild animal meat in the sort. What's happening here? That's why the head priest doesn't give him any sake. What the fuck is happening here? I gotta find Inuhiko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's his house? Other side of the pond. It's the last house on the path. Okay. Ask about the village. What's wrong with it? I'd like to know that too. Before I knew it, everyone had gone insane. I too was in a daze, but I snapped out of it after I hurt her. Threw up. I was thirsty, so I drank a lot of sake. I'm sure that's what made me throw up. Head priest sometimes treats us to sake. When you drink sake, you get thirsty. Sake cask runs dry in no time. But then they drank the water in the ponds and rivers. Oh, so they've gotten poisoned. Slash, like, they're hallucinating. Slash, maybe, I, something. Wait, wait. There was one more thing. There was one more thing. Village, there's something in the water. Tell me about this priest. Most important person in the entire village. You can find him in the shrine all the way up the riverside near the water's source. Okay. Water's source and then last house on the path. He told us, let us become citizens of the palace. If you drink enough sake, you'll become citizens. So there's something in the water and there's something in the sake. Yeah. All right. Well. Something's fucking going on here. Give me a spirit emblem, please. It's a gravestone. It's an item here. I think I'm going to avoid killing them for now. They fear fire. All right, so we have a puzzle here, chat. We have a puzzle. And the puzzle in my mind is this. They fear fire. Oh, there's a fucking bird. Chicken. Uh, they've been drinking lots of sake. And the water is definitely poisoned. There's also a million items here, and I want all of them. Oh, no. Not in the water. Not in the water. I don't want to be in the water. Huh. Ah! Basket person. If you're fire, they're clearly a bunch of paper boys. Hmm. Is this the same room I was in earlier? No, this is not.
Fistful of ash. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How the fuck do I get out of here? There it is. Alright. Let's just grab as many items as we can. And... Why was that glowing? Let's grab as many items as we can. Oh, buddy. And get to the places we need to go. Whoa! Whoa! You just came out of the wa out of the ground! Ah! I'm gonna die. Whoa! I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. Okay. We're running, we're running, we're running. We're grabbing an item and we're running. Oh no! Oh, this is bad vibes. Alright. Give me the item. A gourd seed, holy shit. It's like this whole place is a graveyard. I think it might actually be a dead village. Oh no, big boy. I'm inside of the thing. I just jumped right into it. Fuck me sideways. We're gonna kill the big boy. I'm inside of the thing again. Bye, I leave for work. Bye, Wody. Thanks for being here today. You bitch. The the guy, not you, Wody. I hope work is great. <laughs> to be clear, I'm talking about this guy, not you. Getting hit with shit. I'm getting hit with shit. There are these little paths I can walk in, which is kind of nice. There we go. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Thank you for the 80 bits, uh, Wody. Ah! This is insanity! Alright. Ignore everything and just run. Ignore everything and run. Can I get through here? No? What does this mean? Terror? Okay, a lot is happening here. I don't think I just kill everyone. I don't think that's the right call. Hmm. Oh, there you are. I understand. I go up, and you're the thing who's terroring, terrorizing me. Okay. Hmm. Weird. That's my new life motto. Ignore everything and run. Honestly. You guys don't look friendly. Here's the thing. You're holding a butcher knife. What? This person's walking around this house in their PJs holding a butcher knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. This person looks like they just woke up on a Sunday morning. Picked up the butcher knife. And then forgot to go back to sleep. All right, we got divine confetti. We got yellow gunpowder. Yo, we got to upgrade these prosthetics. I have gathered so much stuff, and we have not yet done that. I think Squirrel Monkey was telling me that last time. He's clearly a chef. Correction, he was a chef. No longer. All right, I no longer feel bad about killing any of these bitches. Uh, I have determined. No longer feel bad about killing any of these bitches. Also, I killed a guy at the top of the the the, the guy in purple stripes at the bottom of the like uh, how do you say it like of this area. Was that guy their priest? Or am I still missing the priest? Back, back again. Hi, what is you, Judge Jeff? How's it going? Guess who's back. Back, back, back again. What kind of witchcraft is happening here? Some kind of witchcraft is definitely happening here. I just don't know what it is. There's some item, an item over there.
pellet. I love it. Very useful. Actually. A place to, uh, to save. I will take that shit. That was just some ninja. Okay. You never cook naked? I don't ever cook. <laughs> uh, but also, I don't cook naked. Remind me, chat, before we get out of here today, I need to go upgrade prosthetics. I did rest, didn't I? Shit. I need to go upgrade prosthetics and uh, give a gourd seed to Emma. Wee! Wee! All right, there we go. You know, it might be time while we are here to continue popping more balloons, actually. But we'll see. All right, so we got that way. We also have this way. It doesn't appear that anything's over here. Yeah, priest will be that way, the, the, the head of the water. Okay. And then the last house this way was the house of, house of the guy. Is it you? There may be one more house. Hmm. Hmm. Got a chicken? Oh, he said across the water is the last house. So it's possible. God damn fucking chicken. Those are good things to, uh, to do before you die since they cost gold. Ah, you think I'm going to die? Wow. Imagine having no belief in me, Square Monkey. Man. That is a dude hanging from a tree. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Chat, Megan is, uh, Megan is working tonight. What should I do for dinner? Wrong answer. Pizza it is. All right. Um, hmm. This thing's on fire, so this this all this all matches. There's you. Corpsey and Ropesy sitting in a tree. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, can you jump up? There we go. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and pop one. We're gonna go ahead and pop one. I'm gonna make some more money. Um, yeah, we'll do the wealth one. We also have lots of levels to uh, upgrade a skill as well. All right, there's that one. Boy, get you, get you. At least they're not that hard to fight, you know. Like, they're truly... They do not appear to be that hard to fight, these guys. Oh, man. I never know what's around the corner in this game. I don't know if I'm going to walk down here and all of a sudden two little death blows are going to appear on my screen, you know? Two little health bars. Nope. There is somebody over here again, though. Oh, that's a lot of you. All right, we kill all the little guys, and then we'll fight big old... Oh, my God. All right, Scrum Monkey. I can see why I might die. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Oi, I was in the middle of death blowing. Get up. Run. I'm back. Welcome back, Bree. I am Ryan. Nice to meet you. That's a bad joke. I am... Fighting too many things at once! It's a death blow. Get out. One death blow, then we get out. That's the goal. Like, that guy's on some shit, right? That guy. I'm back. I'm front. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I don't like it. It's bad, but it's so bad that it's good, you know? Death blow, we get out. Death blows give us money and health. Money and health. Money and health. Get 
Get you. Get you. Oh my god, there's so fucking many of you guys. We use one of those for sure. Death blow central over here. Give me all your health and your wealth. I just made 700 gold. Run! This is insanity. They just keep reappearing. They will eventually stop, right? Chat, actual front seat question. Just to clarify a mechanic here. I think they stop appearing eventually after you kill them six times or something like that. This place seems very friendly. It seems to be actually like twice or three times. I do not know how the the rules on how they respawn. Hey, oi, 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 oi. Sometimes they seem to be endless. Sometimes. Oh! Shit. Sometimes. Other spots they seem to keep respawning until you rest. Oh, we got some carps. Some carp. You got any scales for me, my friends? No? I did fuck this up. That's a lot of carp. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I just went out of here. I just went out of here. I just went out of here. I don't want to be all Jonah and the Whaley. Oh, my God. That's too many carp. That's far too many carp. Holy shit. Uh, the panic. The sheer panic. D&D has told me to try fire and acid on stuff that keep coming back. Honestly, they also hate fire. So I think that would... The problem is I'm trying to save spirit emblems right now. So I'm like... I could, but... He says while also spinning a spirit emblem to do that little disengage thing. All right, so we didn't actually explore this place, but I don't think we can actually get in there. They just come back forever, I think. That cost five spirit emblems? I thought it cost one. What? Five. Blood smoke costs six, actually. We're gonna we're gonna remove it. Holy cow. I thought it was one. So this is the guy who set his house on fire. I can't do anything in there. Wow. Those are some big carp, it's true. I've never killed enough to make them stop. I assume they never do. Yeah. Alright, we just gotta get through here then. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Give me out. We get past here. We get some items over here. Is that it? Pine resin ember. Okay, so pine resin ember burns for a long time. Was it a uh shit? Was it a upgrade material? Yes. Upgrade the flame vent. The resin was found in a black pine within the forests of Mibu Village. Lore chat! The ever-smoldering flames acted as a landmark to find one's way to the village. In time, the villagers came to loathe the flames, and the black pines were lost. Those who defended the flame were equally loathed. Alright, so this seems to me like a get-the-fuck-out-of-dodge situation. Uh, and we go back to Emma, and we heal and stuff. And then we come back and go to the actual priest. Luckily, they do give me a get the fuck out of dodge route, which is this way. All right, cool. So let's do that. Let's do that. You disrespect the lore, you disrespect me. What is that from? Wait, wait, what's that a reference to? For sure, for sure, Squirrel Monkey. I think I might change my name. It might be too long. What do you want it to be? Uh, what does he judge of? If I remember correctly, the puppeteer is pretty sweet. It's from Skyrim. You disrespect the law, you disrespect me. Alright, so we have... 
at least uh we don't have a new prosthetic but we do i don't think pine ember is a new one i think it is a upgrade to flaming vent which is here uh at least this is one of them Spring mechanism can be charged to release a massive blast of flames and hot air, sending opponents flying. Deals damage to enemies with gouts of fire, inflicting burn status, abnormality. I, ha I can't even spin the resin. It would probably be like here. That's fun. We have lots of stuff we can upgrade. We need the money, though. Tier 4 information is now locked. Okinaga's fame flame vent. A barrel con containing smoldering resin acts as an explosive catalyst. Emits a short range... Flame burst. Continuous fire damage will inflict the burn status. It's able to con maintain a continuous it continues a continuous stream of flames due to the smoldering resin. Okay. And that would make them run, I think. Sounds very cool. Umbrella magnet. I need six hundred and then a thousand. So we need some major gold. That's good. We have we have major gold inside of our uh we have we have gold. Uh, in here. Bulging. So we need 1,600 plus our current. And we have 300 currently. So let's take that. And then use one heavy. Skyrim is pretty fun. Give it a play if you get the chance. Skyrim is pretty fun. Give it a play if you get the chance. Incredible. <laughs> Agreed. Skyrim is, is very fun. Winky face. <laughs> Bree, in the most... I think you, uh, you're catching up, right? Uh, in the most recent... One of the most recent episodes, I talk about the fact that we're going to be near 365 episodes of daily Skyrim content uh, here in uh, like 70 days. No. It'd be like 90 days, I think, actually. All right, so we should definitely have the Okanaga's flame vent. I love that. So what else should we upgrade while we're here? We have material for lots of them. So loaded spear. Seems cool. Cleave type. Chad, if you have a front seat piece of information about uh, about one of these that is really great to reach for, let me know. And uh, I will um, do what I can to get to it. We have plenty that we could just do already, but I'm trying so hard to catch up before you hit the 365 mark. It's a lot of episodes, Bree. Don't feel like you got to. Uh, have you tried Bloodborne yet? No. Still, still from Soft Virgin as of this game. The li little arc umbrella is quite useful. Lilac, lilac, right here, right here. Cuphead is pretty fun. Give it a play if you get the chance. All right, Tub. I love you. Uh, okay. So this one is actually just money. And I think I can... Wait, 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 wait. Do you have to do both of the parts to get to it? I think you do. So I have to do this one as well. That's... Oh, because I have to do this one. So that'd be 2,000. When spread open, it protects against attacks from all directions. Sure, sure. Blessings of the Phoenix fill the umbrella, preventing damage from apparition-type enemies. So this... And our Gourd of Terror might go hand in hand, Score Monkey. Am I thinking about that correctly? I'm at episode 233 and started in January. Big yes, yep. Malcontent finger upgrade can stun a lot of bosses. Uh Malcontent Finger. That's Mountain Echo. Sin throw? That's fucking funny. You shoot sin at stuff. Seems malcontent. Um, Kingfisher is etched into the ring. Kingfisher's cry can be heard along the waterfront of Sunken Valley. She cries no more. Drive Drives beasts mad, torments apparition type enemies. That one is going to take me a while because I need to find the Kingfisher ring or whatever it's called. The malcontent ring. And I need a couple other items. So other than that, do we have this one? We probably have what it takes 
to unlock that one. All right, so let's get 2,000 gold. Get 2,000 gold. Send, sorry. Malcontent requires a special item, yeah, that we don't have yet. Um, Heavy is five, so I think we spend all four of those. And that gets me there. Hell yeah, we're we're dropping money. We we popped into the sculptor and we said, here's my platinum black card. Uh I need the works, you know? I need the actual works. We need this one. We need this one. So you do have to unlock both of the parts that will unlock a thing. Okay, cool. Lilac umbrella. Very cool. We can also, with more money still afford some of these we kind of have this one popping off though you know 600 gold would get me the long spark upgraded firecracker using compound gunpowder longer than average firecracker so does this cause more posture damage these knots are, are quite good these knots these knots that seems very useful uh sparking axe also seems useful because it's just axe but better so i'm gonna i'm gonna spend 600 for this i think same posture easier to hit enemies with it oh yeah yeah, yeah. aka like their their terror they're they're like they are they are incapacitated for longer oh buddy we are front seat and heavy here Sorry, sorry. We're we're learning a lot via front seating heavy, like in, in a good way. Uh, all right, upgrade here. Let's do it. And now we have literally no money, so we're gonna need to use these balloons a lot. Okay. Sometimes you know, chat, you get a little bit better by by learning skills. Sometimes you get better uh, by understanding a mechanic. You know. And right now, I understand the economy a little bit better. Benefits the economy. Hurts nobody. All right. Uh, we go to Emma to give a gourd seed. And um, then we go back. Talk to Tutorial Man if you haven't. Oh, shit. Sometimes you get better just by up buying lots of upgrades. Well, and specifically, Sometimes you start to understand how, like, I need to be using these balloons of wealth when I get a chance, you know? I need to. Mortal blades should be able to wound the divine air, allow his blood to be shed. Sure, sure, sure. I'll tell my lord. Of course. Can I give you a gourd seed? Oh, yeah. We're up to eight gourd seeds. I'm cranking through them. All right, so talk to the tutorial guy. I think I talked to him once, Chamos. We'll go, we'll go see. I don't know if it's... Uh, it's been a long time. What is everyone's favorite flavor of peanuts? Personally, I prefer my nuts spicy. I prefer my nuts... In yo... <clears throat> what? He resurrected when you killed him, if I recall. This guy? That sword on your back? <gasps> what is it? Tell him of the mortal blade or don't tell him. I can free him! The mortal blade. He also is tied to immortality. You don't suppose. You could use it to end this curse of mine. Oh. Chat! This is poetic. This is game of the year shit right here. You can kill the tutorial guy and release. There is lore. Tutorial man has a reason to exist in this game. And you also have a reason to get rid of him. Fuck me. That's poetic. Uh, I do not wish to kill you. I'll kill you if you want to. Yeah. I'll do that for you. I, I'll grant your end of life wish if you need it. A man with your skill could grant a merciful death. Ah, oh, my heart. I could try. Are you going to make it be an honorable death? Are we going to have to fight or am I going to just... 
I'll prepare for the beyond. The next time you see me, I'll be ready. That's that's honestly beautiful. Are you ready now? That's the FromSoft juice, my dude. The FromSoft juice is 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 delicious. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes. If you rest, I think he'll be ready then. He has to take his time. That's even better. You don't just kill him now. You have to go. You have to go somewhere and come back. That's more believable. That's more believable that way. For a, from a character arc, he's been immortal for so long. He will will take the death that you can give him. However, he needs time to work through it, because of course, you wouldn't just say chop my head off now. It's a character arc thing. Oh. Makes sense. You figure you're going to be around forever. You're ready to die, but maybe not on a moment's notice. Exactly. It's a character thing. Now he is on his knees. Was he on his knees before? He was not on his knees before. I can finally die. My shame for not following my master into death can finally... I'm going to cry this is beautiful. You're certain of this. I want you to kill me. Wow. As you wish. Go on, do it. Give me the thing, please. Give me the thing. Give me the thing, please. Give me the thing, please. I'm not trying to make you wait, my friend. It's being weird. I'm trying to do it from behind. There we go. You'll love the other Bloodborne games if you like this stuff from the From Software games. I think I will. I feel as if I am discovering, you know, for me, this feeling, for me, the best example, I'm going to kill this guy in a second, but we're going to take a second to wax poetic on this. You're not sneaking up on that guy. That's true. That's true. We're going to take a second to, wa to wax poetic on this because to me, honest to God, this is like the first time that I read like James Joyce or like the first time that I read what's the, what's the best example of this I have an author that I truly love who is a mix of like absurdism and existentialism uh it's like the first time I read Sartre for instance but like uh an author I love called Jesse Ball who does this weird like absurd joyful existentialist thing uh and I didn't know those books existed until I encountered one and once you've encountered one, once you've encountered a thing that makes you feel seen in the way that like, uh, in the way that it's just beautiful art, but also it's like, like what I love about this moment right here is you take in the tutorial guy who could just exist as a tutorial guy in this game, right? And you have instead given him a character arc that includes all of the themes this game touches on, like honor, you know, how immortality is a blessing and also a curse, you know, and mostly a curse in this way. It, uh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to kill this guy now. And it's so beautiful. It's so good. So good. What did we get? A hidden tooth, a false tooth loaded with a secret shinobi drug, blue in color, can be used repeatedly. Crush the blue nostrum be uh, between the back teeth to die as often as one pleases. Could be useful in certain situations. Surely an unnecessary reminder. The first death is typically one's last. Okay. What does that last line mean? 07 for sure. Now you can die whenever you want. Does that o set does that last thing mean I would not be resurrected? Also, Fifth Elemental says he shed some of his armor too. I didn't catch that. That's incredible. Most people have no use for something that can kill them more than once. Okay, okay, okay. I would. Okay. I thought it meant for a second like uh your resurrective power has no hold on this. And I was like, that's, but that's sort of what we're doing here, right? Like, so how does that, is that just a quick, is that a quick item? Do you think it is? Wow. Could be useful in certain situations. That's an incredible moment. 
That is an incredible moment in this game.